Welcome back to the Crypto Trust Network, your go-to source for all things crypto. This week we've got a lineup that's kind of crazy because we're gearing up for the bull run that is upcoming because crypto is cyclical and we know that Bitcoin having is about 60 some days away. 68 I think or 67 days. Today, we're diving into some of the trading, so I'm looking at some of the coins. So, uh, first up, let's take a look at trading volume is, crypto trading volume is making headlines. Reaching a fever pitch not seen since June 2022. January saw a significant uptick in activity thanks to the U.S. green lighting spot Bitcoin ETFs, but that didn't bring the prices up like we expected because Grayscale was selling Bitcoin on exchange is or Coinbase exchange to be exact. But what does that mean for you, the investor? Are we looking at a bullish horizon or is this just another false on a volatile world of crypto? Like I just stated, after the Bitcoin halving, we have a lot of hopes, a lot of um, proof behind us, um, data that's supporting that proof, right? That after the Bitcoin halving, the, the prices go up and the bull market usually starts. And because now there's going to be quite a shock to the amount of Bitcoin that's available. And when that hits all of a sudden, I think that's going to drive up the price quite significantly. I expect Bitcoin to be somewhere about 80, 85,000 by the end of this year, possibly double that by the end of next year. And that's when the altcoins also go crazy. So let's keep that in mind, shall we? Now. Ransomware Rampage is something else that we need to talk about. But now we're going to tackle the darker side of digital currencies. In 2023, we saw ransom payments from crypto attacks nearly double, hitting a staggering $1 billion. With institutions like hospitals and schools in the cross crosshairs in the wake, of oh, the crypto markets, uh, crypto markets picking up. Um, also, there was a wake up call to the crypto community about the importance of security. But there's a silver lining other crypto related crimes are on the decline. So, how can we fortify our digital defenses? Well, protect yourselves, don't leave yourself open. You know, basic security things, social engineering and things like that. Don't give your passwords to anyone, your keys, your anything along, along those lines. Make sure your computers are protected with antivirus softwares and things like that. Everything is for education purposes. Nothing is investment advice or anything along those lines. Now, for the Solana saga, let's take a look at that. Despite recent network hiccups, GameStop, Honk, and PopCat are making waves. Mean points, by the way. Uh, proving that not even technical troubles can dampen, dampen the digital determination of these mean coins. With GME's astonishing recovery, Honk's uh, remarkable rise, and PopCat's uh, perfect performance. Solana's ecosystem is buzzing with activity, and that's what's causing the price action that everybody's so excited about. But we are driving these. But what's driving these trends? We are driving these trends by buying Solana, by buying and investing in those meme coins. So. Only way is up for Solana. 
So, yes, and we will take a look at this SSE's delay decision too on the Ethereum ETF that's been delayed. That's the game that SEC plays. So, we'll get to that towards the end of the video as we always do. Now, let's continue and talk about something that has been bugging me and nobody's paying attention. A lot of Bitcoin is going off the market. MicroStrategy bought some more. BlackRock keeps buying more. There's less and less and less Bitcoin out there for everyone. Make sure you get yours. Top financial advice, just for educational purposes. But make sure at the end of the day you don't have any regrets regarding this space. All of a sudden there will be a shock to the supply of Bitcoin because of ever all of these institutions now they're buying heavily. And then from that, when Bitcoin's price goes up, you know what happens with all coins. They go crazy. So that's something that everybody has to keep in mind. Now let's take a look at this SEC delays decision on Invesco and Galaxy Digital Spot Ether ETF. As we, as I said, I've said before, I don't think they're going to prove it. That's the game that they play. They delay, 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 and then deny it. That's the game SEC plays. So that's what they're doing. The United States Securities and Exchange Commission has delayed its ruling on Invesco Galaxy, Galaxy Ether Exchange Traded Fund ETF and has now been pushed to potentially July 24 after opening the pur pur uh, proposal to public comments. We knew this was going to happen. I told you guys before. It's going to be somewhere around May, June, July. Even now, I'm even having <laughs> second thoughts about that. With everything that's going on. So just keep that in mind. I doubt they'll approve it anytime soon. Because of the games that are being played by SEC. Which is not surprising at all. Okay. There's a... Uh, this yes was that what i was looking for yeah there we go analysts including those from british bank stand chartered have expects have expressed optimism that a spot etf ether spot etf could be approved by may citing the sec's silence on whether ETH is considered a security as a positive sign so that's what's going on that's why it's tied to this. Because they still have not called it a commodity yet. They still might, <laughs> they want to call it a security. And that's where the whole battle is. So what do we do? What we do is we wait. Bitcoin having is coming up. They're going to have to approve it. Soon. How soon? I don't know. I hope they don't drag it out like they have with so many other things I think that's it for today um, for the crypto news that's I think you guys need to know even the good the bad we include the ugly everything like that that you need to know about the crypto industry as a whole so you can make informal decisions while making your decisions about what to invest in and what not to. Crypto Chess Network is here to keep you informed and ahead of the curve. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. So never miss an update from us. Until next time, keep your keys safe and your portfolio safer. Signing off.